And I'm happy you talked about you being at the APA in times past. Yes. You have been working in the environment sector in the Republic of Ghana for God knows how long. Yeah. Has this always been, we know this is not the first time we've had illegal money as a problem in this country. Yeah. Has it always been this dangerous? Has it been this widespread? Have they always been this brazen in the destruction of our environment, our water bodies, and having this happening broad daylight? non ghanaians coming all over Africa, Nigerians, Malians, all being part of this uh, wanton destruction of our water bodies and our vegetation. Raymond, it's been very bad now, extremely bad. I've never seen the state of our environment being degraded as we see now. Okay. I mean, illegal mining has been going on, small scale mining has been going on, but the scale at which this, the current uh, destruction of the environment is, for example, I mean, water, I mean, water pollution, degradation of our rivers, um, putting in heavy metals in our rivers, mercury in our rivers. I mean, it, it has never happened in this dimension. Now we have heavy machinery going into small-scale mining, which is illegal. I mean, for years, people were digging and looking for gold with, with, bare, with, with axes and shovels. Now we are using excavators. Now we are diverting rivers and streams. And this cannot go on. Because for the kind of resources that we have in this country as a nation, Ghana is blessed with gold. And now with the price of gold as high as almost $250, $2,500 per ounce of gold, mm -hmm. if efforts are not made, to nip this uh, challenge or this cancer in the bud, we are going to have serious problems. For example, now we have people, as we mentioned, from all over the continent of Africa. Because Ghana is blessed with gold. In fact, Ghana is about within one of the 10, 11, 12 nations producing the, uh, the largest amount of gold. We are number 10, and we've been beating South Africa to rate as the biggest gold producer in Africa. And therefore, the government and the agencies will have to work hard to stop this illegal mining. Because much of the gold coming from Galamse, does not, it, the government gets no revenue. They all smuggled out of the country. PMMC does not get any gold from illegal mining. And small scale mining contributes approximately 30% of our total global, uh, gold earnings. So we have to have this illegal Galamse problem resolved, and it can be done. Um, quite recently, a colleague and I were discussing about environmental issues, and the gentleman is, in, is from uh, Burkina Faso, and he was telling me, George, you know, I think we better coin, we better adopt the concept of ecocide, which people call <laughs> ecological genocide, meaning the destruction of the natural environment willfully or deliberately knowing that this is going to cause such a widespread impact on people, Ghana will have to consider along the line to criminalize destruction of the environment. Otherwise, our water bodies will no longer be... And let me put it this way. When Ghana water treats our water for domestic consumption, they don't remove heavy metals. The treatment processes used by Ghana water does not take away heavy metals like mercury. So when mercury enters into the water body, it's going to be, you're going to drink mercury. Thankfully, we haven't observed those any elevated levels of mercury in our water bodies, but when it does, there's nothing we can do.